There we go. Greetings, everybody. BJ Weiler back with you for day 73 of 100 Days of Gaming. Playing 100, 100, mind you, different games this year. Streaming for at least one hour every single day for 100 consecutive days. Leading up into our 25-hour gaming marathon. All to raise money for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. 100% of what we raise goes to the hospital 100% of that money that goes to the hospital 100% of 100% goes to helping sick kids get better goes to helping save their lives goes directly to benefiting the children uh, in under the services under the care in the services of the children's hospital of Philadelphia $150 in of our initial step goal of $250 ultimate goal this year is $1000 now, if we can get $1,000 in the next, oh, 28 days, I will actually dye my hair purple for that 25-hour marathon. That marathon will begin Friday, November 2nd, 2018. So, as a matter of fact, uh, 27 days, uh, 11 hours and 45 minutes from now, I believe, if I got my maths correct. Uh, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so... Right around this time, we'll be uh, we'll be digging into our first game, American Truck Simulator, on uh, November second, and having some fun for the next twenty five hours. We're gonna have a special guest star, Aaron, my eldest daughter, will be uh, joining us uh, on Saturday to play a little bit of Star Wars: The Old Republic. So be sure to uh, stop by then as well to uh, cheer Aaron on. And of course, uh, to make a donation or two, uh, if you are so inclined, uh, you can donate safely, securely, and anonymously, if you so desire, by using that big Extra Life banner down below the live stream window. If you're watching this as a highlight on Twitch or a replay on our Real Millennium Group channel, check the video description. I have that donation link in there, as well as a few other links to uh, our Extra Life uh, Judgment Gaming Team, headed up by Battery H, another wonderful streamer. So be sure to check out Battery H on Twitch as well, as well as on YouTube, Battery H 1862, I believe it is on YouTube. But uh, check him out as well. Battery H, uh, great guy, great extra lifer as well, raising money for the Children's Hospital of New Orleans. So uh, always try to give him a little bit of support too. It is always much appreciated. And that thing's going to keep beeping at me, isn't it? There we go. We'll just unplug you. We'll just unplug you and we'll do it that way. There we go. And of course, if you are watching this on YouTube as well, uh, check the video description as well. All those same links are in the description as well. And of course, we also have links to uh, our, uh, an affiliate link, I guess I should say, to our Twitch Kittens gaming store. Twitch Kittens is our streaming community. We are a member of great, a lot of fun uh, looking merchandise there. I've got a few of them. Um, probably be wearing that uh, this coming week on well, my twitch kitten shirt and of course our rmg gaming merchandise uh, store as well you can buy some rmg game and branded merchandise as well in addition to some original photography digital artwork and uh, hand uh, crafted artwork as well uh, made by Aaron, as a matter of fact. So uh, go ahead, check that out. Christmas is uh, Christmas will be here before we know it, so you can get some nice, uh, nice Christmas presents from our uh, Twitch kittens and RMG gaming stores. But in the meantime, we got day seventy-three here, rocking and rolling, going a little bit more. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I busted up my uh, busted up my big toe today at work, and it's. Uh, I was debating on whether whether to stream at all this afternoon, but I did want to at least get uh, get uh, some sort of stream going. Because uh, if I didn't stream now, I probably would uh, probably would break my 73-day uh, streak here of streaming. Which, is, well, actually even more than 73 days since we were streaming uh, before 100 days got started. But, uh, yeah, my toe is... Uh, my toe's hurting right now, so this is uh, this has been a struggle uh, for the last few hours here between work, coming home, and then uh, getting ready to rock and roll here. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna bear through it because you know at the end of the day we're we're here for the kids of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, so uh, they're going through a lot worse than I am right now. So uh, yeah, I, uh, we're we're here. We're gonna we're gonna tough it out and uh, rock and roll with some classic wizards and warriors uh a game developed by uh, dw bradley uh who you may be familiar with if you are uh are a fan of the classic rpg 
uh, genre of games uh, back in the early uh, PC computing days. Uh, D.W. Bradley also uh, developed the highly rated Wizardry 5, uh, the, you know, the granddaddy series of the uh, computer role-playing game right there, Wizardry. Uh, so D.W. Bradley, you know, worked with Sir Tech to get Wizardry 5, Heart of the Maelstrom, uh, out there. And, uh, again, one of the most, uh, well-received games out of the entire series. And I think he may have also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he may have also done Wizardry 6. Um, I'll have to look that up again. And something's telling me, so, something in my head just clicked that he may have done Wizardry 6 as well, but I'm not entirely sure on that one. Now, I know he did Wizardry 5. This one here, a little game he did out on his own, so very much in the, the, the vein of the, the classic party-based dungeon crawlers here. I never played this one. This is one I've had on my shelf for um, quite a few years here. And just again, you know, time-wise, just never got around to to really uh, digging into it, to even getting it installed anywhere um, to play it. But uh, here we are. We uh, we are on our uh, our virtual uh, virtual desktop, uh, a, a virtual machine we converted from a physical machine, a compact desk pro running Windows Millennium of all things, uh, with some wizards and warriors. So let's uh, let's rock and roll. So. Uh, let me see here. I'm curious to see what this intro is. So let's see if we can actually play this intro and see how it well turns out. The dream of black fire. The heaving flame rages, consuming all that it touches. And then, from within the darkness, a chill as cold as death. We are the oracles of Ishadna. You are the chosen one. Am I really? You are the mortal hope. The Inferno Set Udwakan, unholy pharaoh of even. The Lord of Darkness has risen from his long slumber. For soon the Shadow's Darkness will blanket this land. A maven sword, a blade forged of twin metals. One cursed by mm, evil. Somehow I don't think we're getting the, the full, by the <laughs> full video view of the cinematic here. Peace be with thee. I am Kara, Holy Protector, Guardian of Anifas. Seek you the Maven, the sword forged of twin metals. It is a mortal instrument of the Black Fire. Only the Maven can challenge the coming darkness. Something has happened. Something evil. Oh, we must consult with the oracles of Ishad Na to learn more. Thank you as well to my to hosts, Ms. Cracker Jacks, Ryan Gads, Arrow Dash 84, Battery H, Crimson Commander. Thank you one and all for the sword. hosts as well. It is much appreciated. Go now, quickly. And that's and Battery underscore H blade. on Twitch, so be sure to check Battery out as well. Oh dear. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're back. Okay, so that didn't work out as good as I hoped, but hey, we got a little bit of background information. So the Maven, the sword. Alright, so uh, I assume that plays a big part here. Let's start the game. The village of Valicia. Okay. Uh, assemble party at the assemble party at the town inn. Uh, the town inn. So we can't go there yet. What do we got here? And this is the whole party of the town inn. So. Looks like we may be going to the town in. The gate's out, I presume. Can I, uh... Yeah, okay, so it's all arrow control here. Another gate out there. That was rather quick. And so let's see what we got here. Game options, load game. 
game. So let's start options here. Game. Spawn frequency average, monster difficulty normal. Uh, safeguard mode guarded. Deathmatch. Keyboard. Forward, back, up, down, left, right. Y axis, X axis. You just can subtract, add. Jeez. Uh, fight, uh, key, magic. Urgh. That'll work for me. Sound, we're good on sound. Page up, page down, number pad. So mostly a lot of stuff on the number pad here. Probably should at some point. Y axis, X axis. I'm not sure what that is. Look, look. Probably the, uh, said adventures now. Alright, so just check now. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go to the uh, the town in here. Create character. Oh, okay. Good create a character. Okay, so what do we got here? We got a human, elf, dwarf, gnome, pixie, umphaz, a whiska, a gork, a ratling, a lizard. A lovely lizard. So that's it? No, uh, okay. No adjustments. No abilities, uh, no adjustments to abilities. Intelligence, agility, strength, fortitude, presence. I probably, I think I may have a Prima Quest guide here. Probably should have grabbed that before we started. That's all right. We'll uh, stumble our way through this. Intelligence, agility, dwarf, strength, fortitude, intelligence, minus one, agility, minus two. Strength, fortitude, presence, gnome. Dexterity, Presence, Pixie, Agility, Spirituality. Umfaza, yeah, I would imagine that Umfaz would be strong here. Intelligence, Spirituality, plus two. Sounds like the Umfaz can be a Paladin almost, maybe. This is Agility and Spirituality. No will for Fortitude or Strength or Gork. Strength, Fortitude, Rattling. Dexterity, Agility, Intelligence, Strength, Agility. Uh, so Pixie is Agility 3, Dexterity, Agi Dexterity and Agility 2. I'm thinking Thief here, uh, which would be Dexterity and Agility. So we might have to go for Rattling. Okay, well, uh, first things first, let's do uh, do our warrior. So we've got an Umphaz, Intelligence, Spirituality, Strength, and Fortitude. So, you know what, I think we're going to go Strength, Agility. Dexterity and Will, Intelligence, Agility. All right, let's go Dwarf. Male. Uh, let's go. Uh, uh, go this guy. Warrior, wizard, priest, rogue. Let's go warrior. Go straight out warrior with him. Okay. Choose ability points. Six points for main. 
Alright, so let's go strength, fortitude. Uh, affects your ability to use weapons effectively, and there's important things like pickpocketing. Uh, how fast you can move and attack, and uh, how well you can dodge attacks from others. I think we may want to bump up agility. Uh, being afraid and different, aggressive, will, magic powers, so don't have to worry about that. Learn new magic spells, increase your magic powers and luck. Uh, learn new skills and important things like disarming traps, which he's not going to be really doing. Um, so what do we got? We got three points. What's that up? But I definitely want to uh, bump up 16. Bump up his strength there, there we go. Alright. First level warrior, dwarf male, neutral. Skills, sword, axe, mace, pull staff, dagger, bow, throwing shield, leadership. Um, choose two skills to increase. So we'll go sword and shield. One skill to increase. Sword shield, so yeah, okay. I think we'll stick with that. Character name. He will be Corbin. Ugh. Let's try that again. Corbin Gen Zier. Urban Gen Zier. All right, we have Corbin Gen Zier. All right, next, let's do. Uh, so we got a party of one, two, three, four, five, six. Warrior, Mage, Priest, Rogue. Alright, let's go ahead and do our Rogue. So we'll do our uh, Agility, Intelligence, Agility. So, yeah, I think Intelligence is more spells. Uh, agility, Spirituality. So, you know, oh, we'll do Whiska. Male, rogue. Oh, you know what? Rogue, I think. Um, let's go back. There's no ranger. Rogue. Summer traps and make excellent thieves and pickpockets. Yeah, see? Um, any kinds, kinds of weapon and armor. So we might make him. I have to make him a warrior. Others uh, being a different aggressive magic powers, enchantment, spirituality, uh, intellect, skills and new magic spells, disarming traps. Pickpocketing. Look at that. So we want uh definitely want bow here. It's gonna be our bowman. Alright, this will be Landamora. Almavara. I'll just go Landamora. How you spell Landamora? Landamora. All 
Alright, Whisker Warrior. Okay, let's go with our uh, with spiritual so spirituality too. Spirituality two. Yeah, if we did strength of fortitude, we might have been better off doing Gork. The Gork is our uh, ranger, huh? Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do our uh, do our rogue here. Definitely want to beef that up. Disarming traps. You definitely want to beef that up too. Okay. Uh, pickpocket, uh, traps, and yeah, we definitely want to do. Oh wow, really? One skill to increase, huh? That's it, eh? Well, we'll do that then. Traps and locks. <sighs> I don't usually use a lot of my rogue names. And I got my assassin. Let's do my assassin from Guild Wars. Jai He. Jai He. Rattling Rogue. Okay, so let's go our next character here. Need a mage and a priest. Intelligence 2, Agility 1, Intelligence Spirituality. So that would be almost, I'm trying to think this would almost be like a uh, Bishop, I think. Now, who could learn? Cleric. Yeah, it would be a bishop. Bishop in the old wizardry learned both mage and uh, priest spells. Who do we want? I'm thinking an elf to be our mage. So maybe we'll do this guy as a. Uh, we'll do her. We'll make this Osiria. She'll definitely be our priest, I think. I made four points, so we had five points all together. that up a bit more all right now we got spell book your spirit uh, choose the book of vine spells kind of a bless heal awaken slow repel stink bomb yeah so I think we're gonna want to do spirit here Choose the book of spirit spells. Uh, choose first spell for your spell book. Bless heal. Let's go with the heals. Boy, this is so tiny. It's hard to see. Let's go ahead and continue. What was this? The 800, uh, this 
800 by 600 resolution. God, the glory days. Choose a spell book to open. Spirit. Choose book. Choose second spell for your spell book. Oh, okay. Um. Add awaken to your spell. I see. I don't know what it is. Bless. Awaken. I think we'll go bless. Sorcery. Spirit spells. Cast magic spells. So let's go spirit craft. Alright, we'll go ahead and proceed with that. This will be, um. Oh, Siri is our mage. Hanuk is usually our, uh. Priest. Uh, so who else do we have? Um. I think who else in Guild Wars are my female characters? What's my Mesmer's name? Oh, Shana. Shana Talan. So we'll go Shana. Shana Talan. Shana Talan. There we go. All right, there's four out of the five. We're gonna spend the whole hour here just creating characters. Uh, all right, so let's go our... Let's go our wizard here. So that'll be female too, because she'll be Osiria. Let's see what we got here. Hey, you know what? We didn't choose a portrait for our rattling, did we? Or our elephant. Uh... Let's go with her. She shall be a wizard. Intellect, intellect, intellect. Agility gets a bonus. We'll just go with fortitude. You know what? No, not. Um. Two points agility. Only an elect 15. Skippily dressed there, I'll say. Um, sun? Stone spells. Shock, armor, plate. I think we'll have to go with sun. Burn. Proceed. Sun. We're also wearing torchlight. Proceed. Sorcery. Suncraft. Uh, proceed. Of Syria. Because Teutonius is not going to fit. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, so let's see here. We got our. Rogue, a ranger, a warrior. So we got, f right, we've got the four major professions here. One, two, three, four, five. One more. Should go another fighter. Yeah, I think we'll do a warrior here. Got a lot of points for this guy here. Go agility. Go one for fortitude. We'll bump, uh, bump all those up a little bit. 
So we got Corbin with sword. Uh, You see, we didn't pick the portrait for this one there. Let's go axe. And, uh. Dagger or shield? Let's go shields too. Who shall this be? Uh. Zeral. Let's go Zeral. Zeral Armnoff, but for these purposes, it'll just be Zeral. Alright. Boom. Boom. Uh, Land of Moor, Uh Alright, so we're good. Character, create character, character review, pool gold. So pool gold to Corbin. Actually, you know what? We probably should pull gold to Landamora. Let's go pull a gold to Landamora. Exit, alright. So we got our characters, but they have no weapons, so I guess we're gonna have to go find some weapons here. Something has happened. Something evil. The shadows speak to me. They cry out in my dreams. I have seen visions of unspeakable horror in the night. I fear the prophecy of the age has come to pass. We must consult with the oracles of ishad -Na to learn more. But ishad -Na is far away and a most dangerous journey. We will need a special magic to protect us. You must go this night upon a secret task for me, to unearth what has not been seen in the Gale Saren for many generations. The Maven Sword. I had a very strange dream earlier this day. I was walking through a graveyard in the night when I heard a voice calling my name, Gareth. Gareth, it cried. I followed the voice until I saw it. A black crow sat perched atop a tombstone as it flew away. I saw a name upon the tombstone, Nivius. Suddenly, up from beneath the grave, there arose the great talon fist of an ancient dragon, and clutched within its grip was the Maven Sword, stretching up to pierce the darkened Oops. sky. The dream is an omen. You must follow the old cemetery road up to the graveyard ruins of Beersalt. Search for the tomb of Nivius. I believe there you will find the legendary Maven Sword. Go now, quickly, and return to me with the fabled blade. I will return to my home and wait to hear from you and pray well yeah that'll come in handy all right so what we got here so nobody's got any armor bag of gold inventory spell book stats skills Journal. Auto map. Oh, nice. Okay. Um. Okay, so we got, uh, the armory. Yes, let's enter the armory. Hail, I'm Smitty. Glad to meet ya. What can I do for ya? Ah, uh, we need weapons and arms. Uh, we need to buy stuff. Much to choose from. A dagger. Oi. Sword. Short sword. 175. Maybe we'll give him a short sword. That's a sword. 500. Yeah, that's most of our gold here. Uh, let's pull the gold. So essentially, we got 1,200 gold that gives us 
200 per character here we can arm with. Wow. So yeah, I think we're going to go short sword. Knife, doublet. Yeah, plate mail's already out of... So yeah, we're pretty much going double it for everybody. Wooden shields. I have shields. Torch. And lock picks. Lock picks are even a hundred gold. Wow. All right. Well, let's go uh, short sword. Yeah, I'm sure I got a bargain. Uh, we gotta go short sword. We'll go the. Uh... Even the leather is just too much. So we gotta go the doublet here. Doublet, the pants. And the suede boots. Hail. That's good. Pull our gold. Down to 1030. So I didn't quite spend 200. Now we had him. Uh, These are all with axe. So we'll buy the axe. We didn't even get we didn't get Corbin the shield yet. Well, let's get the axe. Let's get the basic stuff we need to double it. Uh, trousers and the boots. So Landamora. Get pull the gold. Land of Mora. Uh, what's this here? Arrows? Pike? First of knife? Okay. Crossbow? Yeah, it's a little expensive. Oh my god. Alright, so let's uh, do this instead. Let's go uh, Jai He. Uh, pull gold. Grab a dagger, the doublet, just go trousers, Shauna, the gold, uh, go the robe. Um, do the bow stick. Yeah, that's good. The gold. Or a doublet. We'll throw, we'll throw a robe on you. Um, Oh, you know what? We need lock picks for uh, Jaihi. Uh, bow stick or a pike? You can't do pike. Can't do that. Can't do knife. Can't do mace. Can't do dagger. So we'll take the dagger. Now we gotta go back to Jaihi. Pull the gold because we gotta get Jaihi's lock picks. By the lock picks that leaves us 480. Okay, uh, let's see. So let's go back here. So that should be able to give us shield here. Get 
Give them both a round shield, I think. Oh, never mind. There's only one shield. Okay. Uh, pool gold. Buckler. I'll take the round shield there anyway. 200 gold left. Alright, I think that'll do it for now. That character review. Shield. Doublet. Trousers. Boots. Sword. Okay. Doublet, shield, axe, trousers, boots, no change except for that. Alright, Landamora. Oh, that's right, we haven't bought anything for Landamora yet because we had to see how much gold we had left. We ain't got a whole heck of a lot of gold here. Doublet, pants. Dagger. Don't know where the lock picks go. Oh, does this tell me? Oh, okay, here. Lock picks there. Alright, good. Rove. Staff. Dagger. Uh, cool gold. So we got 200, which is the bow. That's all we got. Jesus. Um, let's take this off then. At least give him some more armor. Um, Back, I want to sell, sell the shield. Ah, I only get 100 back from that. Wonderful. All right, let's go to Landamora. Let's go ahead, pool gold. At least we got 300. Cause we're gonna need arrows too. Identify uh, character review. Bye. Bow and arrows. I guess I only need to buy one quiver of arrows. I don't actually know. Yeah, it's sixty gold. Oh, okay. Well, I can buy the doublet for 25. Okay. Can't afford that. I can at least get a doublet. Chainmail, that's not going to help. Let's go ahead and grab the doublet. Alright, let's, uh... Pool of goals, 35. Alright, so we at least got that. Alright. A little bit of armor there for Landamora. Which version of Wizards and Warriors is this? Ah, uh, the original, I guess? I didn't know there was more than one version. <laughs> Let me, uh... Join Warriors Guild. Oh, no idea what that is. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Um, uh, 
yeah, I guess it's not really going to tell. I guess, yeah, I don't see a version number anywhere. That's what we want to do. Load a saved game. Well, how do I... Uh how do I save a game? I don't know. Enter the temple. Welcome, my child. Rights, bless. Make donation on curse. Character review. Full goals. Join priest skilled. Ah, oh, okay. That's oh, game made by uh, six and seven. Okay, so he uh, he did do six. Yes. Um, yeah, this is the D.W. Bradley version. Yeah, he did Wizardry five, six, and seven. Okay, I knew he did five. I didn't remember whether he did six. Or seven, so yeah, he did the, he did those three then. Nice. Well, we've got the spells learned, I guess. We'll road to the graveyard ruins of Bersalt. So that's the temple. That's the town hall. Armory. The end. You know what? We didn't go to the town hall yet. Tavern. The magic shop. Okay. Let's go in here. See what's in the town hall. There you go. All right. Your service. Welcome to town hall. Town bank. Town news. Seem very upset. Okay, good. Town bank. Draw gold, deposit gold. Alright, so we can deposit gold here. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, he was quite upset. The sword was stolen, apparently, or in the grasp of a dragon or something. All right, let's, uh, let's see what the tavern has for us. Drink ale, rumors and chat. If you're willing to pay. Yeah, I'm not willing to pay. Not in the slightest. For 50 gold? Uh, no. No. Oh, reply. No. <laughs> well, all right. What it'll, what it, it will be, you know, uh, find you for change your mind. Okay. Ten gold for one ale. Okay. All right. So we got, we got to go earn some gold before we could, uh, Alright, let's see what the magic shop is. There are greetings, my friend, so we can buy... Or, oh, wait a minute here, buy. Ah, scroll burning. Dart, yeah. Well, feather dart. Lots of scrolls. Potions, stink, fiery dust, heroic might, token, alright. None of which, of course, we could afford. So dart, feather darts 50, huh? Could have bought darts for them then. Didn't even realize that. All right. That's fine though. The staff and the dagger will do them for now. All right, let's get out of here. Oh boy, um, Forest Trail to Nymph Lake, or the 
Road to the Graveyard Rooms of Bersault. Let's go there. If it's anything like wizardry, potions and scrolls are going to be useless except for antidotes. Yeah, pretty much. I would imagine so. The stars of the night sky look down upon you as if a thousand eyes watching. Though the air is filled with the murmurs of the forest, your ears can only hear the distant echo of Gareth's final warning. Beware the maven sword. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> and it crashed. Okay. That was interesting. Which probably means I just lost everything. Ugh. Brimlock Room. Aishadnha. The town of Aishadnha. Oh. So we got to the port. Ah, okay, but okay. Valencia. All right, let's see here. Symbol of party at the town, at the inn. Oh, nope, they're all good there, okay. It's out on adventure. Oh, well, how do I restart an out party? Road game? So you still don't tell me how to, uh, Maybe I should revert then, huh? That's the town hall. I got to uh, be in. Yes. There we go, okay. Thank goodness. Uh, okay, at least we got all our stuff here. Alright. Oh, hold on. Uh, move. Try to remove. Uh, oh. Uh, let's try again. Corbin, Zeral, and we'll go with. Uh, actually, he's ranged though. Maybe we'll. Oh. Dang it. Corbin, Zeral. Let's try that. And more Shanna. Shanna, no Syria. Okay. Exit. Okay. Still not tell me how to save the game now. All right, so let's go. Um, Nymph Lake. The stars of the night sky look down upon you, as if a thousand eyes watching. Though the air is filled with the murmurs of the forest. Your ears can only hear the distant echo of Gareth's final warning. Beware the Maven Sword, for it will destroy you. Here we go. Or something beep at me. Okay. Oh, and oh, there it goes again. All right, let's uh, hold on a second here. Did it just minimize, or is it uh, now? It uh, it crashed all together now. Well, alrighty then.
All right, let's revert again. Hey, at least we got character creation. It's in the village of Alicia. So we've got to go to Alicia. The inn. Go there. Go there. Go there. That, that, and that. Okay. Shouldn't need to revert anything. I think because they're out on a venture, maybe. I don't know. The stars of the night sky look down upon you as if a thousand eyes watching. Though the air is filled with the murmurs of the forest, your ears can only hear the distant echo of Gareth's final warning. Beware the Maven Sword, for it will destroy you. Yeah, see, there's something, there's something happening to where it locks up on me. In this virtual machine. No! Why must you do this? Yeah, see, it locked up again. not telling me why it's locking up all right so let's not revert let's go ahead and little mouse Mouse is working, it's just not working in the game. Well, that's bummish. Come on, you can do it. Wow, it's like locked up my entire virtual machine here. This is Windows Millennium after all. Um, if I take the disc out here, let's see what happens. So I previously saved game while in town, clicked on the disc icon in town. Yeah, but see, I haven't, I haven't been able to save a game. It hasn't saved any games. Wow, it won't even let me control alt delete you. Alright, uh, uh, let's go, let's do this. Let's go, uh. Hibernate! No, no, no. Um. No, it can't shut down because I don't have the integration. That, uh, so let's go ahead and kill it for a moment. And start her back up. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Why are you using a VM of Windows M? Because that was what was installed on the, on the physical machine when I converted this into a virtual machine. There we go. Where, where, where are we here? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, you're all. Oh, it went too fast for me. Dang it. Oh, screw you. Don't check for errors. No, don't check for errors. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me, Windows. <laughs> it's called Windows More Errors for a reason. All right, hold on here. Turn off. I have all day for you to check for damn errors. I usually don't have any problems. This is, this is actually the first game I've had an issue with it. 
Uh, properties, there we go. Okay. There you go. Windows Millennium Edition. Do, do, do. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. All right, now I'm inside. There we go. That's what we're waiting for. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's try this again. Got PC with Windows uh, ME back in 2000 after a week I downgraded to 98. Yeah, I had... um. Well, this, this, I think, actually, uh, the original system here was something I think my mother had had. I forget whether she got that from the school she taught at. I think that's what well, it may have been. It's just one of those old things sitting around. At the end of the year, they were upgrading. She took this one home, used it for uh, my nephew to play on a bit. I ended up uh, converting this one into a virtual machine just so I could play, uh, you know, at, at the point where I was I was um, uh, studying to be uh, to take some of the the uh, Windows uh, exams uh, for PC tech and that kind of stuff. Um, I converted a lot of these machines. That way, I would just have different versions of Windows to play around on. I converted my I converted my original uh, HP Pavilion, which ran Windows 98. Um, I've got that as a virtual machine now, but um, I actually had my first no, my first laptop. The first laptop I bought was an Acer, I think, and it had Windows Millennium on it. And oh my God, it was it was just, <laughs> that thing would blue screen like there was no tomorrow. And yeah, that was the first laptop I had. Um, Dial-up, and that's when that's that I think. Yes, that was the laptop I had uh, for for Guild Wars. I'm trying to think if I had XP, but I didn't have XP. I built my desktop specifically for Guild Wars to play Guild Wars, um, and I installed XP on that. So yeah. When uh, when the beta tests uh, were out for Guild Wars, uh, I used that machine, and used uh, I, I use the term used loosely because I could essentially just create a character, and, and that was it. There were no graphics to speak of. It, it could not run the game because there were pretty much no graphics um, to speak of. Yeah, see, there's no there's no save games for me to uh, deal with here. So I essentially just created my my uh, arena net account, my, well, Guild Wars account on that machine, on dial up, and uh, and got to work building uh, the desktop that I would eventually, eventually when Guild Wars launched, uh, play Guild Wars on. Well, I'm trying to think for for the for the first, but we didn't have we didn't have we didn't have uh, high speed internet at the time. I was still using dial up. So the first couple of months after Guild Wars launched, I was using dial up. I could swear I was using it on a laptop, but I, it couldn't have been that laptop because it wouldn't have played it. So I had uh, yeah I had. Uh, yeah, I had these machines up on dial-up till we finally got uh, high-speed internet. <laughs> but yeah, those were... Uh... Now, well, see, the thing is... Is like... Um, for us, over here in America at the time... Uh, that was the time... It, it was sort of the time to where we didn't have to pay per usage. Um... Um, like in the good old days, uh, so we just got a flat phone bill, and that was it. We obviously just couldn't use the phone because we only had one phone line. So whenever I'd go online, 
that would be the phone you know we were using that but yeah it, it it didn't cost us any extra it didn't cost us any you know any time or anything like that um at that point which was not otherwise it would i, I wouldn't have been able to play <laughs> at the end of the day but that wasn't yeah i think that was only a couple of months um uh, we did uh i used uh dial up it wasn't long after that we ended up getting getting a high-speed cable internet yeah see i can't i can't go anywhere unless i, I get like to the to end come up. you would like to, well you can't where are you gonna go i gotta use this keyboard Why? because that's what i gotta do <laughs> yeah, you're do funny all right so let me we'll give this one more try here no 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 it's called Wizards and Warriors. So I would have to either create a character. Or I, uh, yeah, I would have to revert. Yes, you can play it when you're big. If I could get it to work. So we'll have to see. I'll have to. Yeah, your tablets. Yeah, I'm watching your tablets. I can watch chat. Try the disc icon here in in Dude, the village. Oh, hold on. Oh, too late. I already reverted. Why are you doing on both tabs? But see, well, see, that's what. It, yeah, see, what it, there, there is no. See, it doesn't. I have no option to save. It's only. Uh, yeah. This is only load. There is no. Let's get out of here. Uh, exit now. Game options. Which is weird. So it must. The only thing I could think of it is that it auto saves. See, this is where I should grab the. Uh, I I think I think I have the uh, guide for this. Yeah, but I didn't have a save game before. That would that was the. Uh, so I think we're going. To, oh no! You know, what, hold on. I gotta add these people. Because I haven't been able to save anything yet is the problem. Let me try it again. See what happens anyway. You, you. Uh, we did you. You, you, and you. So I'm sure it'll lock up again. Uh, I have no doubt about that. Alright, so let's go over here. We'll, we'll head out this way. It's gonna load now. The stars of the night sky look down upon you as yes, if a thousand eyes watching. Though the air is filled with the murmurs of the forest, your ears can only talk. hear the distant echo of your final warning. Beware the Maven Sword, for it will destroy you. Let's view the map. Dragon fire. I think what it's, I think what it's trying to do is still load the graphics. I think that that might be where I'm running into an issue here. I haven't heard any dings yet. I haven't heard the Windows Millennium ding error ding. Uh, can I inspect a character though? It's uh. There we go. All right, so let's 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 try this again and see what happens. See if see if there is actually a safe game or not. So I guess I'm gonna have to play around with this at some point if I actually want to try streaming this in the future. Obviously. All right. So let's go ahead and yeah. See. Yeah. Nothing. Doesn't get to the point where it can save. Hmm. And I can't do that. Well, it is what it is, I suppose. Hey, we got characters created anyway. I mean, heck, we, we got something done for this hour. I'll have to play around with this. So obviously it's not going to work on this machine past getting into our adventure. So I'm going to have to see if I can get this on. I have to try a, different, a couple of different machines here. Ooh. Oh, no, I was about to say, maybe I can use DOSBox, but this isn't. Where is this? No, this isn't. Is this DOS now? I don't think this is DOS. I'm trying to see here. What I could use. 
Yeah, I, this is probably on good old game. So actually, you know, I hmm, I would have to say maybe I could use DOS box for this. I'll have to say. Try because I ended up getting uh, getting uh, Civ one Civ. Well, I got Civ two to work on this. Um, Civ one I got working through DOS box. It's for Windows ninety five ninety eight. Yeah, so it isn't DOS. It is Windows. So. I'm trying to think if I could get it. Because if it's on good old games, then it has to run through DOSBox anyway. Because all those uh, all those games run through DOSBox. I think. I'll have to look. I'll have to see. I'll have to play around with it. We'll play around with it anyway. But in the meantime, that'll have to be it for us for today. Unfortunately, we got a late start. I was going to try to do some Stronghold Kingdoms today, but uh, oh, it doesn't work on DOS. All right. Let's see. I have to play around to see uh, see if we can get this working. Because now now I'm sort of now I'm sort of in that tech mode. It's like okay, you're not you don't want to work. I'm gonna have to try to get you to work. But that'll be it for us. Hey, we got some, we we got our party created. One of these days we'll we'll do some retro gaming here and rock and roll this. But in the meantime, that is it for us. Day seventy three in the bag. Twenty eight days to go before we. Uh, well, actually, technically now twenty seven days. Just a, just less than twenty eight days because well, it's twenty seven days, eleven or ten and a half hours, just about before we begin our twenty five hour marathon. Remember, a thousand dollars is our ultimate goal this year. Get that thousand in. It's about to crash, isn't it? Uh. Before we start the marathon on November 2nd, we will, I, I, we, I will dye my hair purple for the marathon. Don't forget, you can donate safely, securely, and anonymously. Check out all the great links we have down below the live stream window, including the big old Extra Life banner to make that donation. Uh, and, of course, uh, check out the video description if you're watching this on uh, Channel Real Millennium Group or as a highlight right here or upload on YouTube. For all the great links we have. And don't forget to check out Battery H as well. Judgment Gaming Extra Life Team Leader. We've got over $400 in for Judgment Gaming now. Which is awesome sauce stuff. And uh, we'll be back. We'll be back tomorrow for day 74. So thank you for joining me today Cat. Much appreciated. Always to see you in chat. As, uh, as usual. It's always appreciated I guess. Something, something to that effect I think. Thank you, Ryan Dads, uh, Aaron DeBell, Ms. Cracker Jacks, Crimson Commander, Battery H, and Arrow Dash. One more time as well for the hosts today. It is also much appreciated. Uh, we will be back tomorrow, day 74. Upon which I have, what do I have for day 74? Day 74. I know I have my schedule down below here, but of course I can't see down below the live stream window. I can't see my panels when I'm streaming, so let's go. Where's my schedule? Here we go. So for tomorrow, ah, indie gaming again with Stone Tales. Going to try to get through Stone Tales, and tomorrow we will definitely be doing another stream with American Truck Simulator and Oregon, the Oregon DLC. And but in the meantime, that is it for us, Wizards and Warriors. Well, they it got the better of us as we tried to go adventure, but hey, that's hey, that's the the fun of retro PC gaming at the end of the day some of the challenges there in the meantime thanks again cat and i'll see everybody else uh next time in fact i'll see everybody tomorrow day 74 thanks everybody have a wonderful wonderful evening